All right, I'm on hole number 13 of the City of Light Tournament. I'm in the weekend round of the Ricky Division. This is hole number four of Parc de Paris. And this is a dangerous hole. I don't like the way I'm coming at it, but I like the other way even worse. When you got lower developed stuff, you can come from back here. And I really don't like from back here because you're putting all kinds of stuff into play. I'm going to come at it from right here and I'm going to do, I'm going to bring a Viper and I'm going to do maximum backspin. Now I'm going to bring a Quasar. Or excuse me, I'm going to bring a Marlin. What I really wish is I had a ball that had a little bit more side spin on it than that. But was a zero power ball. I think where my red line's at, I probably could bring a Quasar. I'm going to bring a Marlin. That's what I've been practicing with. And I'm going to bring a Viper. I'm going to switch this bag up right here. Okay, let's get out there and get on it. Now this is another hole right here that it's... Our chances of getting a hole-in-one are pretty limited when you have lower developed stuff. It's possible to get a hole-in-one, but this isn't like a super high percentage. Hole number eight in this tournament. It doesn't matter whether you have high develop, high level clubs or low level clubs. You have just as good a shot of getting hole in one. And those are the holes that you want to focus on. Holes like this, you want to get on them, get your birdie, and wipe your brow off and go to the next hole. If you get lucky and get a hole in one, awesome. If I get a hole in one, you're definitely going to hear me go woo. <laughs> The thing I don't like about this is, is that I'm getting an irregular bounce right here and it's taking a skip bounce and it's wanting to fly forward and it looks like it's one of those bounces that's going to fly forward and end up on the other side but it, it is slowing down but it's it definitely makes your heart stop for a second. You definitely if you were on a EKG machine they would go hey what just happened? <laughs> My opponent's short shooting this shot right here. They're putting on curl and they're short shooting it. That's a very common occurrence when people put on curl, is they will inadvertently short shoot it and not realize they're short shooting it. And it's probably a good thing that they did. All right, I'm gonna put on maximum of everything that I can on there. I'm gonna try and get in front of it, be over just a bit. It's 2.9, it's 1.9 per ring, so that leaves me, it's probably about a ring and a half. Put a little bit of curl on it just to bring it back to the cup. Hitting it great to the right. Let's see if I left myself enough room, I did. Boom, boom. Rolling it up there. See, I took that, when it landed, it took that that one bounce where it it leapt forward but it was really low to the ground and sometimes when those shots are low to the ground like that they'll skip across the green and when they do that they all their all of their power releases in a forward direction and it's already on the green and it just rolls right across the green I at least gave myself a look at it wasn't that far away. It wasn't a really good look, but it was a look. All right, in the hole. Getting my birdie and moving on. Now I got a couple shots. The, the next hole is hole number five. That is a serious shot. doesn't matter if you have low-level stuff, high-level stuff, whatever. You got the same chance of, getting, of picking up the eagle. Hole number six, that's not a huge Albi hole, but you have just as good a shot of getting Albi as anybody else. Hole number seven, that par four, you got just as good a chance of getting an Albi on, or an Eagle on that hole as somebody with upper developed stuff. Um, hole number eight. So I got a four, four hole stretch here where I actually have a serious shot and it'd be nice to pick one of them up. So we're getting to that point where we're starting to finally move up the bracket. So I, 
I got into this bracket and then I yesterday and I haven't played so I started off down at the bottom I think 98th 99th place and so we finally picked up enough that we're starting to move through so we should see some big jumps as we move up through this and I have no idea what the people at the top have but we're gonna try and work our way up there and see where we end up all right that was hole number 13 of the City of Light Tournament. That's hole number four of Park to Perry. Thanks for watching.